Yo, what's up, everyone? Today, we're going to talk about Pokemon. Even more specifically, Pokemon Silver. And even more specifically, see, there's layers to this already, the Space World 97 demo of Pokemon Silver. So, we're going to go through a bit of a preamble here since there's a lot to go through. So, now would be the perfect time to shut me up, pause this video, go get a cup of coffee, Get comfy because we're gonna be we're gonna be here for a long while today. So I hope you're as entertained and interested in this topic as I am. So most video coverage I've seen of this has been through the Pokemon Gold's uh, Space World demo. I'm not even sure if that made grammatical sense. So most videos I've seen were the Pokemon was the Pokemon Gold Space World demo. I don't think I've seen like a single one talk about the Pokemon Silver Space World demo. Now I'm sure. I probably just haven't seen it. It's probably out there somewhere. But as far as my personal experience, so I kind of want to like cast the net of information like a little wider and cover cover part of this that I don't see many people covering as much. Maybe there's more fondness for Pokemon Goal and I just don't realize that. So let's start with that. I am by no means the resident Pokemon expert of insert area here. I, however, am a huge connoisseur of beta content and demos and stuff like this. So my interest does lie with this very specifically for the aspect of it being like a very early beta that was only at Space World. But I'm not like a Pokemon expert. I like Pokemon, like, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to know every subtle difference and stuff. So there's going to be two aspects with my lack of knowledge here. One, this is the perfect video for you. You have my permission to get mad at me in the comments and correct me on everything I'm wrong about or what I missed. And second of all, I'm not going into this totally blind. I have played Silver before. I've played Soul Silver. My my memory of which is not incredibly good whatsoever. But even more so, I have the Cutting Room Floor article open while we're going through all this. So that way I can go through everything and kind of try to make sure I'm not missing anything super... What is Pikachu doing? Why is he just like, is this like, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. Check this out. <laughs> so my whole, my whole point is I have supplementary information with me right now. Did I, did I pronounce that word right? So I got supplementary information with me. That way I'm not totally alone in the dark. All right. So what we're going to be doing first is just checking out the normal playthrough as if, you know, you waltzed in at space world and you're just checking out this kiosk and you're playing some pokemon silver so we're gonna go through that first but that is probably i'm gonna make the assumption not gonna be a very long part of the video because most of the more info uh interesting information is probably gonna be all behind oh there's jiggly dude uh behind you know the debug menu stuff so you only get two options you get some settings you know I'm sure that's like tech speed and stuff. Uh, you know, hopefully. I don't know. Um, me speeding up the text isn't going to do much considering I only have eight hours of dual you know, to begin with. However, I have a special treat for you guys today. Since my understanding of Japanese is incredibly poor, I'm not even sure if I could ask for a cup of water, but like I might be able to tell you I see a dog. However, what I did is I ran through this intro text through Google Translate, so I got something for you. Don't worry. Now, be, you know, before before I get too excited about my translation, let me tell you a cool little tidbit I noticed. Because obviously, I test things out at least briefly before I start looking at it for a video, and so I was just using like the Game Boy Color functionality of my Game Boy Advance, and you know. If you're under the assumption that this was only going to be used to show at Space World, it is kind of interesting that it still completely functions on a normal, like, through, like, normal Game Boy Color or Game Boy means, and not just through, like, Super Game Boy means, like what I'm doing right now, you know, because it adds the extra border and stuff. And now, I know there's, like, never been a case or something would only be, like, playable on a Super Game Boy 2, but there's different, like, color palette stuff sometimes. I think, like, Killer Instinct had, like, a straight-up, like, two-player mode through the Super Game Boy 2. It's just interesting to me that there's there didn't seem to be anything incorrect as far as just playing it through, like, normal Game Boy means. I just found that somewhat interesting. So, 
You want me to run through what's going on here? Check this out. First of all, Professor Oak. From what I was looking up, isn't there a different professor as soon as, like, Gold and Silver is even a thing? Isn't... Or is that only, like, the remakes or something? Because I was getting a little confused when I was trying to look that up. Because I, I straight up don't remember. The last thing I played of Gold and Silver was specifically Soul Silver, And that was probably, like, I don't know, like, ten years ago. <laughs> so, I was reading Professor Elm, but I wasn't seeing too much for him in Gold and Silver. But maybe I'm just wrong. I'm just gonna say... Maybe Professor Oak's still kind of placeholder-y, just like the entirety of the music, pretty much, but... Alright, alright, let's get to it. What's, what's my man Oak here saying? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. He is Oak. I think that's the part that says, I am Oak. Or he, maybe Professor's in there somewhere. Maybe Google Translate didn't pick it up. Alright. The person who came to me today was none other than you. And he's talking about you. Not me. He's talking about you watching this video. That's right. Oh, you may be wondering. How am I playing this Space World demo? Well, you see. 27 years ago, or whenever Space World happened. I, I, I was there. And found it in a dumpster out back. Alright, we're good? Okay, let's move on. So, I want you to help me create a new book. I'm assuming he's talking about a Pokédex. I hope so. I think the, the second line is the part about the book. So, with the Pokemon that will be your partner, check this out. And for some reason, what I was getting out of this is, and Riku, I don't know if we're playing Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy X. Now this part, this is, there is such a deep lore with this line here. I can't believe they cut this out. So this, this says, there are scratches in my backpack. <laughs> so, I wasn't getting anything more accurate than that. Somebody that knows more than me, could you please, please fix what that says? <laughs> but don't worry, because there are also monster balls. There are monster pole. There's a monster pole included. Don't worry. Your rival is already in trouble. Please do your best, and don't give up. It's super inspirational. I felt that in my soul, especially the part about the monster pole and the scratches in his backpack. <laughs> I really do want to know what that meant, but I'm assuming he's trying to talk about the Pokédex and the Pokéballs and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm pretty sure they're like monster balls in, you know, um, Pocket Monster stuff. That says Pokémon Silver. That does say Pokémon. I'm pretty sure if you play, like, Pokemon Green and, uh, Red and stuff, pretty sure it says Pocket Monster up there. Pretty sure. I'd have to double-check <laughs> my old footage. Alright, so let's, let's get on with this. So, you don't get to pick your name. No, not at all. And, even more fun, you don't even get to pick your starter. It's just completely random. And, you know, that makes sense. You know, you're running up to a kiosk, you're doing some Space World stuff. Because I'm pretty sure that's what this was. It's, like, publicly... You could walk in and like play like essentially like a kiosk of this and mess around with it. So what one did we start with? Perfect. This is I was hoping it wasn't uh, Chica Rita. I think that's the Pokemon's name because I saw it for a second while setting everything up and it, the designs like finalized. It's pretty much the same. I mean I'm sure the sprite's different and stuff, but as far as being like a different Pokemon. So here is. Uh, uh, Totodile. <laughs> no, obviously this is an entirely different unused Pokemon. Uh, oh, you know what I could do for you? I wonder, this thing probably has a name, doesn't it? Alright, bear with me. We're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a translated name in real time right now as you're watching this video. This technology is so cool. Okay, I got a terrible picture. <laughs> All right, I got it. So, <laughs> okay, this description cannot be right because what I'm getting out of it is a Pokemon that has just been hacked. Maybe it meant hatched, and its name might be Cruz? <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Okay, I think Cruz is the name it's getting, and then it said something about being hijacked, so... 
let's do the very fun thing I was talking about and start cross-referencing the cutting room floor. Okay, what do we what do we have here? What's what is going on? So let's look at let's look at our Pokemon. Let's look at our Pokemon. All right, I need I need I need Cruz. He's number one fifty eight. Perfect. That's super easy. This is super. Oh, it is Cruz. It straight up is Cruz. Okay, base stage water starter scrap Pokemon based on a Plesio Plesiosaurus. Oh my god, with two horns ended up being replaced by Totodile. Okay, and he's got some evolutions. All right, we might be seeing the evolutions later, but let me let me do you a favor here. All right, so now I've got the cutting room floor page pulled up. And the, like, the contrast was blinding me, and it definitely would have been blinding you. So, here's what we got. I was correct on that translation. So, here's his back and front sprite. We got a little, like, water sprite right here. And so, like I said, base water starter. Uh, but what I want to look at is his evolutions. Now, we will be going through Pokemon stuff later through the debug menu, but, you know... As as this information is present right now, let's at least look at the scrap water starter. So, here's his first evolution, and what do we have here? Pokemon based on a Plesiosaurus with a horn and a gem on its neck, similar to Dragonair. Uh, obviously replaced with the evolution of Totodile. His name is Aqua. See, so there's some Kingdom Hearts references going on here. And then we got Aquarius. Ooh, look at him. Look at him. Can, can, we, can we blow this up more? What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh god, <laughs> that's super small. <laughs> Hold on, we got this. Zoom. Enhance. <laughs> Heck yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get back on track. We're getting distracted. Alright, so yeah, he's got he's got this like necklace thing too, as you can see, that you cannot see like at all here. Maybe it's just not low enough. And then the same same spread. So that's 150, 159, 160. Is that because the starters are like yeah, 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 because, okay, the number-wise. Okay. Cool, cool. And see, so like, Chikorita here looks pretty much the same. Ah, uh, whoa. Whoa. That does not... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I was looking at that wrong. That looked like some sort of, like, biblically accurate angel stuff right there. So it's called Bayleaf, and did this name change? It's like, what is this? Is this a Bayleaf? See, this is, this is what I'm saying, like, my, my Pokemon expert. Strange. That's super strange that it's like, this is still pretty much finalized. However, this, like, totally wasn't. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I will say they made the right choice changing this to that. That is a lot more approachable and friendly looking. All right, let's uh, let's get back to it. So that's like our Pokédex, and right now, obviously, the only thing we've seen is me. All right, so our other options here, we have this is our Pokémon menu. We got all that going on. I don't know what any of that means. So you know what I'm going to do? Real-time translation. Let's go. Alright. Surprise, surprise. I think he's a water type. It says, like, I think, like, normal slash water. Uh, he's... Obviously, he's level 8. He's... He's Cruz. Wait. Sorry. She's Cruz, I think. If I'm reading that correctly. Is that a she? What, is, what, what, what symbol is that? What am I doing? I'm not, I'm not an expert in anything. Okay. So, we got that screen going on. We can... I, I don't know what I just did to this poor thing. Oh, we got, we got moves. Okay, now this is interesting. Okay, let's see if anything's like strange, strange here. So, use all of your body to attack and attack. That's probably tackle. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright. Alright, guys. This one, according to 
<laughs> according to our beloved Google Translate, is called noise. And what this says is that I'll make you let go of your unlovable clothes and give up your troubles. So I'm assuming this is like a growl or something. <laughs> so this is his water type move. And this is... Enjoy the water. Let's move forward. Water depot. So it's probably like a... Uh, water gun's a little later, right? You don't get that kind of stuff, like, immediately. Am I right in that? I honestly... Not sure. Okay. So we got, like, a normal type, probably some sort of stat reduction move, and then a water type move. What else we got here? What does this button do? Oh, what does this button do? Okay. This is why it would have been incredibly helpful if I would have spent the time to learn Japanese better, but however, if you couldn't tell... My attention span can only go so far, and it's definitely to my detriment. So this says, make a request, or remove a request. What is this? Oh, this is, like, items. So, here's what we start with. We got five Pokeballs, ten potions, or scratch repairs, ten fix anythings. What is that? This is a fix anything. I want to know all the status information. All right. <laughs> And then we got, that way you don't become drowsy. So like, like a, a thing to wake your Pokemon up from sleep. And then we got, if you do so, you may be able to live without getting angry. Oh, okay. So is that like, um, is there, is there like a, a mechanic that you can get enraged? Is that a thing? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm forgetting an option here. Okay. Wh what else we got down here? You know what? Why don't I just translate this menu instead of poking around like an idiot? Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? We got... Okay. Okay, let's just cancel. Okay. This is... I'm so used to doing things how I did back in the day. Which is, you know, I played a lot of imported stuff. And what I would do is just, like, you know, play an entire game without knowing anything about it. I didn't even have, like... Like, like there, there wasn't nearly this type of technology back then. So, you know, like I said, I'll just import something. I wouldn't understand what I'm doing, and I'll just, you know, play the game like that. When I played Kingdom Hearts for the first time, I specifically played the Final Mix version. Because, you know, I wanted, like, I wanted to fight Sephiroth and get that Keyblade. Because I knew that much about it. Because I think I saw, like, my cousin play it. And so I just imported with, like, my little kid allowance money through, like, Play Asia or something just imported Kingdom Hearts Final Mix because I had, like, a magic slide thing, if anybody knows what that is. And I played through... Like, I would just play through RPGs without understanding the text at all. I was an absolute mad lad, and clearly, I need to adjust some of my habits for modern technology. Alright, so we looked at our Pokemon. What is this? That's our items. Here's our trainer. So, oh, that's probably his default name. From what I read, that's a randomized name, probably between, like, you know, the stuff, like, whatever our translations would be, like, Silver, and then the other generic names. But, I know what you want. You want to know exactly what that says, and don't worry, I got you. He is... Uh... Alright, I don't know what he is. <laughs> I got nothing for you. But he has... He has a... Uh, like Pokemon Encyclopedia. Okay, let's look at these options just in case there's something weird in here that I'm not, you know, familiar with as like a not super diehard Pokemon fan. All right, we got, we got. Okay, yeah. So it's essentially text speed. So quick, normal, late, animation. Okay, so you can skip the anim, you can skip the animation with this one. Uh, social roles, and then if we're in stereo or mono, and then you can change your mind. Excellent. And so what is our last option here? Okay, just closing out. All right. That's a very, very good start. Okay, so we have... Okay, what is he... What is he saying to us? This I didn't translate ahead of time. I'm not smart enough to think that far ahead. A present for the Kanto teacher at Christmas. Kanto, I thought we were in Johto. Uh, this is a... Um... <laughs> Alright, I'm not saying that. 
but this is a present by my teacher. Oh! It's probably saying like this Pokemon was a present from their teacher. And then we got... I don't need a translation to know what this is. This is an N64. But, you know what? Let's see what the actual text says. At least a rough translation of it. So, this is... I'm playing Nintendo 64. And it is... Well then... <laughs> the, uh, it's time to go play. Uh, what? It's time to go out and play outside. Man, you barely booted up the game. What are you doing? We're real gamers in this household. So, this is obviously PC stuff. I don't think any of this is functional through the normal playthrough. Uh, let's see, Pokemon Journal homepage. Is that, is that, is that a number? Uh, Shin Pokemon Hawken, so like true Pokemon something. May May Yori Dori. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I'm so American. <laughs> what, what does it say? Each arm is like a pair of steel. What? What are you talking? Wait, like, um, uh, not Scyther. Uh, what's that steel to Skarmory? Was that silver and gold? The wings are as hard as steel. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? Is that what they're talking about? Not only a flying type, but also a new metal type. Yeah, 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 it's gotta be. I think that was just an extension of saying it's a metal type. It's important to be bored. And it will set the stage for future health. Yo, you haven't met my brain. Okay, this is a personal attack. Okay, and then this is like a radio, which is cool. So let's pull up once again. Why am I acting like I'm not immediately going to need to translate something else? Okay, so... Shigeru is I turned on the radio. I think that was like the the player's name and obviously it could be a poor translation of that So then we got J O P M. This is Okay uh, This is Pokemon <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. We will send you Pokemon news Pokemon's world Ooh. The world of Pokemon Can Yusha Oak. Are you talking about Professor Oak there? That was going on? Uh, he has a skein from Kanto. Um, okay. Hope that's not some bad word I don't know about. From Kanto, I kicked my head. Good sir, I, I would honestly suggest you probably don't kick yourself in the head, and that's probably why your speech sounds like this. He kicked his head. It was a new health opportunity. <laughs> this isn't... At this point, this isn't informational. This is just stupidity. But I hope you're having fun nevertheless. I'm trying to be informational, but I'm also... I am just a man. Okay. So, uh, he was looking for a new place for health, so he kicked himself in the... <laughs> kicked himself in the head. Alright. There are also ways to ask for help? <laughs> is this a, is this a cry for help? <laughs> That's what it's starting to sound like. Okay, let's move the text along. Okay. This is, there is also a possibility it was involved in some kind of accident. What is going on? <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. And then we have, oh my, this one's just like untranslatable. Hold on. Oh, okay. Now we got name that I can't pronounce. It's very excited. Okay. Okay. That one, that was a rough one. Abnormal. It was Pokemon news. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, so let's continue. Uh, okay. Please continue to enjoy the song. Okay. Uh, oh, good God. That was, that was, wow. Okay. Oh, no, there's more text. All right, let's just get to it. You're in it, you're in it for the long haul. I hope you're enjoying it. We're going to be here. We're going to be here all night. And that's after cutting things out. Wow, another one. Okay, we have Pokemon picture books. Oh, oh, wrong button. Don't don't worry about that. Oh, that was it. That was it. Can I, like, go to sleep? Nah. So, this is interesting. There's two beds here. That's that's not normal, is it? Is this implying, like, shares, shares a room with somebody? We have Pokemon picture books. Okay, same thing. Alright. More dialogue, probably. Okay, so I think this is, like, the character's mom. Mother! Oh, you! 
Oak is here. Cool, cool. So this is probably, you know, slightly different considering Professor Oak is here. I, w I would hate to be, like, confident in saying Oak's not normally in gold and silver, and then somebody shows up and tells me how wrong I am, and I might be. Uh, but for now, we're going to pretend like this is new information to us. So he asked to make a Pokédex for him, right, right. You're the professor, dude. Why is it like like a 10-year-old child have to make the Pokédex for you? Have you been asked to create a Pokédex? I think so. Isn't it amazing? I hate Pokémon, too. No. No way. No, no way. <laughs> Jesus, Mom. Oh, God. It's not that I don't like Pokemon either. I'll do my best. Okay, so that's pro that's probably what it meant. I, I probably am cutting off the lines too soon. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, this kid's like so excited to go on his Pokemon adventure, and his mom's like, I hate Pokemon. <laughs> Total buzzkill. Alright, what do we got here? We have Pokemon picked. Okay, okay. That makes sense. You know, space. You know, to be fair, I bet like you know, you roll up, and you're playing this in space. I keep saying roll up, like it's some sort of whatever. Uh, you're probably not going to be inspecting every little thing. You want to see the new Pokemon. You want to go like battle something. So this looks like more like a TV instead of a radio. Pikachu is fighting a giant sparrow. Satoshi, wait, Satoshi. Satoshi's resting. It's a Pokemon anime. Satoshi, wasn't that... Isn't that Ash's name in the Japanese version of the Pokemon anime? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure, like, I heard that recently. Oh, there's even dialogue for, like, a fridge. Oh, this is cool. Good flavor text. Almost empty. Okay, so this mommy hates Pokemon, and she also refuses to put food in the fridge for this poor kid. Now... I don't, I don't claim to understand their economic status. However, they're living in a two-story house. I, I could assume they could hopefully afford some food on top of it. It's, oh god. So we're looking at the sink right now. It's shiny and long. What's on the menu at Konya? Okay, I don't remember cooking things in the sink. Alright, what, what we got here? The gas stove is clear and safe. Excellent. Well, that's great and all, but there's no food in the fridge to cook. Wow. Oh, you know what? This is probably where the hating Pokemon thing comes into play, does, isn't it? Alright, what do we got here? This is... This is... I think that's our character's name again that I can't really pronounce correctly. Like, Shigeru. Not Shigeru. Shige Shigeru. No, maybe it is. Wait a minute. That's cool, isn't it? Huh? You mean trainer gear? What? What does that mean? Okay, so now this is somewhat interesting, because, like I said, I was taking a look at this the other night, just kind of poke around for myself. So, you cannot use Poke Centers in this. Obviously, you know, it's a it's Space World demo, they're not planning on you needing to heal up all the time and stuff, but you also, you know, you already have the potions. So, what she's saying here is... I'm sorry, but I'm at the... <laughs> Okay, before I give you the silly, funny Google Translate thing, I think what it actually was is essentially her saying, like, it's not, like, quite ready yet, or and she's, like, in a hurry or whatever. But what I'm getting is that I'm sorry, but I'm at the office right now. It's like, lady, you're talking to me. You're right there. I see you. I can't use it. Uh-huh. Please be careful when leaving the town. Sound advice. All right, excellent. <laughs> so, she's busy right now. She's at the office. She can't help us. It seems that the current situation in the country is amazing. What are you, what are you even what are you even talking about? It is said that you can create Pokémon that transcend time. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Is it true? What is he talking about? What is this? Is this some sort of Pokemon lore I don't understand? What is he talking about? <laughs> what does this mean? This guy, Helgar, is a type of Pokemon that has never, ever... Wait, sorry, I added the ever. That has never been seen before. <laughs> so let's talk to Helgar over here. Oh, Lord. All right, what is he saying? <laughs> oh, God, sorry, that's loud. <laughs> okay, so... 
Hugger. Hugar is going. Guru. <laughs> oh God. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk to this suave gentleman down here. All right, what does he got? What if that computer over there was a trainer? Again, I have to ask, what are you talking about? Okay. Always happy. Oh, that's great, dude. You can use it at any time. Thanks. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. Holy s- <laughs> Oh, oh I almost said the bad word. Okay. What we got here? So this is a computer. It's hard work. Well- <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Pack it in, folks. It's too hard. Oh, God. Anything like here? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I didn't want to have to translate more stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Google Translate is incredible. But also, it clearly has some limitations. So, take note of stuff like the rock blocking us right now. I doubt that was intended to be final. That's probably just to keep you within the bounds of the demo. This is Silent Hill. That's that I that is an accurate translation. I'm pretty sure this area literally is just called Silent Hill. Nothing like spooky about it. I mean, I don't know. There's some insane people here. That guy's talking about if that computer was a trainer and the other guy's talking about po Pokemon that can transcend time. Like this okay, this place is kind of insane. Please, sir, sir, I want to talk to you. What do you gotta say? What you got? What are you are you collecting Pokemon? Uh, yeah, 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 actually. That's great. <laughs> Dude, everybody's so supportive. <laughs> okay, Nyuk, Nyuk Yoshi is Hashabshu. Okay, I'm sorry, I've got nothing. Uh, oh, this is, this is like Oak's lab, right? Okay. Huh, it's locked. Ah, okay. What about this door? Same thing? Yeah. Okay. So that's locked. Interesting. Probably because, you know, we already got the Pokemon stuff when we started. Okay, this says, this is Satoshi's house. Sat Wait, Satoshi's house? Is that the name of, like, our rival? Like, default name? What do you, what do you gotta say? What do you gotta say for yourself? The color I changed recently, I saw Popo. Ah, uh, alright. I can interpret that in numerous ways, I, I think. Is this gonna be the same, uh... Pokemon and yeah yeah okay it's the same text. Okay. What is this? Is this like a window? Is the window dirty? Look, you can't just be walking to people's houses and commenting on whether or not their windows are dirty. Like, just they'll take care of it when they're ready. Okay, Pokemon picture books, same same stuff. Wait, is he gonna comment? Uh, where, where's your fridge, man? She has no. She just doesn't store food. Like, straight up. She just doesn't do it. Okay, that's that's fine, I guess. So, okay, obviously we're all fenced in here. Okay, we can start going to the left. So, we're probably... And at this point, if I was doing this, like, in real life at Space World, somebody would be trying to kick me off this kiosk right now. Like, like please stop just examining every sign. It is my turn to check out the new Pokemon. So, obviously, big, big rock stopping us. All right. So we can quite literally, like, only go left. So this is why it's going to be so interesting to start digging through with the debug tools once we're done. But, okay, let's go fight some stuff. Oh, change palette. Look at that. Same type of music. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to this person. Ooh, he's, he's getting a little flickery up there. So this is, this is first floor, Silent Hill, Old City. So, like, Route 1 or whatever this game. So what does he have to say? Boy! The monster ball is made by after letting the wild Pokemon move. Okay, sound advice. It's best to make a wild Pokemon move before you use it. Okay, I'm assuming they mean like, you know, wear it down or whatever. What we got here? I saw a new Pokemon on the back of my head. You should get that checked out. <laughs> See, and that's strange because isn't that the type of like music and um little like pokeball thing that happens when you're playing gen one and you like are about to do like a trainer battle but it's just like or gym leader or whatever 
Oh, yeah, look, he's just kind of floating in the air. So we're going to try that water type move out of him and hope it does damage. Okay, yeah, it does a lot, actually. Probably because he's level four. It is cool to see, you know, like a beta Pokemon that never got used in action actually like fight and stuff. So what's this for? I don't want to get into too many battles because we're going to bog down the pace of this intro part too long. And I'm, I'm already screwing around too much and having too much fun with this. So, okay, that's just blocked off, obviously. I can't use cut in this demo. Beta is perhaps more appropriate of a word, but... What do we got here? But that's cool. You know, you could you could come in here and actually, like, use one of the new Pokemon and stuff. That would have been, like, very exciting at the time. Now, a quiet mother is waiting for a wild Pokemon. Thank you. I didn't realize they just put poetry everywhere. Whoa! Did you see that? There's, like, no visible entrance. Interesting. I actually don't think I even saw this when I was screwing around with this earlier. Okay. Click here for Silent Hill. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, what do we got? What do we got going on here? And this is, unfortunately, we're gonna have to tell me, guys. Is like, is this layout like drastically different, or just like a little bit different? Because unfortunately, I have no clue. Now, I understand from an informational point of view, it's a little lame of me that I don't have a better <laughs> recollection. Of how these routes are and stuff but still as a viewer you get to see it and you have the knowledge you know that i probably don't as to how much is different and get to like check it out with me along the way so i hope it's still you know entertaining enough and informative i keep forgetting that the whole point of this is i'm trying to be informative this pokemon is scary that's why it's playing here it's playing here because it's scary this doesn't seem like good, like, cave music. Is this supposed to be a cave or is that trees? Like, what's going on here? That's why there are so many trainers working here. Okay, okay. Everyone loves battles, so it's a good idea to protect your arms. Ah, uh, right. Right on, bucko. Alright. What we got here? What's he saying? This is great. Okay, we have... Have you just started playing Pokemon? If you do that, you'll be in trouble. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I guess I am in trouble. Alright. Alright, fine. We're gonna fight. Alright, who are we fighting? The insect killer has attacked a fire. Dude, this guy is lit. Okay. Uh, that is... Has produced a compound. Oh my god. Is that a... I almost called him a Furby. What's his... <laughs> you guys are gonna be so mad at me. What is that guy? He's like... He's, uh, he's like a bug type, right? He's... I don't, he's not drowsy, that's the psychic type. What is he? Oh my god, I don't know who this is. Whatever, he's just gonna have to die. I mean, that's all there is to it. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't, I don't even know your name. Okay, so I actually leveled up. That's very cool. Sorry for, like, stealing your lunch money, kid. Go continue to put out that fire or whatever. So, let's... Now we're going to do the super cool thing. Let's try to use a potion. Ah. Uh, I thought... thought that's what that was. Oh no, I thought that's what that was. Oh no, buddy. What? Okay, let me read what's going on here. Okay. Wait, it said it used it. Wait, I'm using the wrong thing. Okay, we're gonna go into here. We're gonna go into here, here. Wait, what? What is going on? I thought this was scratch medicine. <laughs> what am I doing? No! <laughs> I'm falling apart. Okay, is this scratch medicine? You can catch both. This is scratch repair. Why did it use it if, it, if you know, whatever. You know, I, in my caveman brain, am confused why something happened I didn't understand while I'm playing a game 
in a language that I don't understand. I am the silly one. I have committed user error. Okay, so we got like, is this a cave or not? It look, it's I I don't I don't know what to make of this. Okay, so we're going. There's somebody down here. What is? What do they have to say? Let's see. Okay. Hey, me and you. Wow, that's everybody. Everybody here in Silent Hill. That feels weird to say. Is is a poet? We have Hizuki in a miniskirt is attacking. Me. <laughs> okay. Cut out the mystery grass. <gasps> I remember that's Oddish, right? Right? Did I get that right? That 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 looks like an Oddish to me. Wait. I'm using water on a grass type. Is that stupid? That is stupid. Okay. Oh, no, that's like sleep powder, isn't it? Oh. Oh, this is awful. Okay. I think I have like one sleep repair. And it's not that. Okay. Okay, is it this? Uh, no. Okay. We're just gonna... Oh, no. This is gonna... <laughs> Alright. I'll check back in with you guys after I either lose this battle or miraculously win. Hey, guys. I'm back again. Guess what happened? I didn't make it through that battle. So, I'll do my best next time. Alright. I'm gonna say... That's good for checking out as if, you know, I was playing this for the first time and seeing what's going on. There's obviously a little more of that path that I didn't get to, and we're still going to check it out. But what we're going to do is immediately just start poking around the debug tool so we can start seeing more. All right, so now what we're looking at is the debug menu for the Space World demo. And here's obviously where we're going to be able to look at a lot more, even more interesting stuff. So... The first part of this menu, we're not going to be quite checking out yet. I'm not even sure if we're going to at all because it's like a battle tester where you can pick different Pokemon. But I believe there's an easier way to see these Pokemon. And from what I'm reading, if we if we try to like pick ID numbers that don't belong to any Pokemon yet, most of it's just going to crash anyways. So for now, we're going to go to the second option here, which is the field test. So this is what I was messing around with for a bit. So skips the intro completely let's see what we can still pull up the menu and stuff though but what we can also do now if you see we have an audit option in an audit an added option here if i'm reading this correctly where we can save our game so we're not gonna do that i don't know if that's gonna do anything weird so this was obviously not meant for public view so what we have a full pokedex of all 251 Pokemon at the, at the current time. So, now this makes sense why what I'm reading right here says, selecting Pokemon Index 252 crashed to the game as soon as you confirm the roster for the battle demo, uh, because there's nothing past that. So, this is super exciting, right? But I'm gonna bait you. We're not gonna go through this yet. What we are gonna look, what Pokemon do I have? We have, okay, we got the boring one. We got Chikorita. So, Obviously, it skips the intro. We read through the text that we want to read. So, we can we can immediately start running. Super cool. We can, we can run through things. All right. So, if any of you out there have ever used, like, walkthrough raw game shark codes for, like, you know, the older Pokemon games, you know if you walk out of bounds, uh, you, like, the game just crashes, right? It can't, it can't handle that. Luckily, with how this debug menu stuff works, we can walk through walls, but if we hit an area in which, like, the game would crash, it just bounces us back. So, like, it is a super incredibly useful tool. So, first things first, let's get back to that cave we got going on, and I'm, I'm going to show you a lot of super interesting stuff, okay? Another thing that makes this a very useful tool besides just bouncing us back in, so say we wanted to look at, like, this kind of stuff, Oh, oh, there's a... I, wait, this is my house, so it's not going to be Bill's secret garden. But here's a secret garden, alright? So one thing I do like about this is that 
once you stop holding down B, you act like you're normally within bounds, so you don't, you can kind of still see where you're not supposed to go, like, ever at all. Um, you know, what's within the bounds of even the out-of-bounds areas, if that makes sense. So, let's start. I know because obviously the rightmost side is the most interesting, but let's finish up looking at the leftmost side first. So, interestingly enough, this is already like a, like... A very wide wall right here but that's that's not what we're here to talk about okay let us go oh there's that thing past the uh branching we gotta cut but okay so obviously that lady uh kicked my butt uh but let's get back to where she is okay so past here so you could go up there's another guy here can I, can, you know what I, I don't know if i want to risk talking to him right now okay past here when we get, like, super out of bounds, I'm going to start testing dialogue. But, okay. Oh, oh. See? So, you you don't have to... Uh, now, I'm sure there's still some area that could possibly crash this. But, at least for the most part, it's a relatively a safe tool to use. So, we get down here. I'm surprised how much... Okay, so obviously that's blocked off. Wow, there is a lot to this whole, like, cave-like area down here. Looks like you could still definitely... Yeah, you definitely could have gotten here. Another guy here. Okay. What does that say? Okay. Uh, that... Um, are we supposed to see this? <laughs> okay, what is this, what is this sign saying here? It says... Click here for... Shizu Shizukana Oka Old City. Hell yeah, dog. Oh! Is this... Wow. Seriously. What does this say? This is the first floor of Silent Hill Old City. Okay, it's a repeat of that sign. So maybe you normally couldn't get this far? Oh, may, no, maybe you could. There's a, something else still blocking our path there. We'll look at that in a second. Trainer, probably, somebody. Wait, is that the rival? It looks like... Looks like the rival. What's he got to say? Satoshi. Oh, he's using the name Satoshi. Oh, isn't it Shigeru? We managed to make it this far. Okay, so this is kind of probably roughly where the demo would have left off at. I feel like I've somehow made it this far. Don't push yourself even though you don't have any luck. <laughs> Dude, that's so rude. Collect more Pokemon? Raising various Pokemon. Uh, raising various Pokemon, right? Yeah, sure. For sure, sure. Uh, you'd better turn around here. See you. Interesting. So you talk to him. Demo over. Right. Okay. What a jerk. I wasn't done yet. Okay, so obviously we really have to avoid whatever is triggering him to uh, pop that text box up. So here's one thing. Doors do function obviously, and I've even myself seen the doors out of normal demo bounce function. However, I don't know if we can get through this door, and it's something I wanted to show off anyways. When you skip doors like that, things tend to not quite load properly, but let's see what we can do here. Okay. Okay, that might not be too bad. And there we go. Okay, so now we're in... So... This is definitely 100% like we're not supposed to be here yet. Whoa. Okay, and they have dialogue. Okay, what's going on here? This, now this is cool. I'm starting to feel on my old, uh, my element now. Old city box is that you may. Interesting. There's that delicious rice bowl. Thank you. Okay. Have you ever tried it? Interesting. So there's like flavor text here. Okay. And he's got dialogue. As soon as you pass through this gate, you're in the old city. Interesting. Because some of the stuff I was checking out to the right, I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a lot that just straight up did not have dialogue. Interesting. Because there's definitely like no way you're supposed to get this far in the actual... In the actual space will don't. That's not me holding B anymore. This just straight up has no, no collision. Okay. Neither does that. Oh, okay. Do you have anything to say for yourself? 
No dialogue. Okay. And what about you? No, but they're like turning to me. They just don't have dialogue. So maybe this is some sort of like, essentially like a crash handler. Not not a crash handler, but like enough of a placeholder, uh, enough placeholder code to make it not crash when you try to talk to people with no dialogue. Okay, can you? This is functional. Whoa. See no dialogue. But like some of this is still physical. Like I can't go through that normally. Interesting. This stuff is incredibly interesting to me. This is so cool. It's cool to see how much was finished. Uh, I'm sure this is built off of obviously whatever they were done working working on at the time. But it's still interesting to see how much of it was done like behind the scenes or how much maybe they were planning to show off to begin with. Like maybe they were planning to show off a little more. Who, who, who knows? Because like it's interesting that, that there's a shop here. Okay. They're probably just... And I noticed this thing with the shop, too. It's like, they're, like, almost, like, barricaded. Like, normally, they, you know, you need a way to walk through that. This guy's just walking through all the tiles. Okay, I don't think he's interested in selling me anything. But this definitely looks... Yeah, this whole, like, design looks different. Like, okay, that's cool. So the shop's functional. Some of these buildings might just be like, start repeating and stuff. So I might not go into every single one of them. We'll see though. We'll see. We're kind of, if you haven't noticed, we're kind of in this for the long haul. I kind of really, whoa, that's like an item. And it's, it's got like, it's like physically present. That's really cool. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. We didn't get that signs not physically there. Physic, you know what I mean. It's just, it's just flavor. Well, that's physical, or at least it has like a boundary or whatever. Okay. I'm surprised how many of these interiors you can like walk in. No, if you don't see any text popping up, that's because like I'm clicking A. It's just no no nothing's actually happening. Okay, that's interesting. Is that some sort of like fossil museum or something? Interesting. This is a big tower thing. What is this? It's a bunch of old dudes. What are they doing? And more people... Uh, hey, Pokemon gold and silver players. What does this mean? Does this mean anything to you guys? What is this? This almost reminds me of like uh, the one like tower area where I think you could find like bell sprouts or something. Or did I have a bell sprout when I was in that area? I don't know. Wow. Okay, there's a lot to this building. Yeah, let me know in the comments what this what this means. Like, what does what does this mean to you? There's a bunch of old people here. I understand that. Oh no, am I getting lost? No, no, wait, I got this. This is so cool. Some of this still has is like like physical walls around it and stuff too, like that. Oh, these are like um like growliths or something. That's what they kind of look like. So, yeah, what is, what is that building supposed to be? Um, so we go here a bit. There's more. Now, this, now, she probably won't even talk to me in this one. Yeah. It, what is interesting about this, too, is this kind of shows to me that this isn't just copy and pasted. Because, like, they have no dialogue whatsoever. Whoa, 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 dialogue. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Cool story. Wrong button. Oh, wow. Wait, what did that say? This is the connection cable to my friend. Cool, cool. Okay. What does that mean? We look forward to hearing from you. And was this in the normal Poke Center? And I just didn't like didn't look. Welcome to. Oh. Weird. The, like the. So where I connected the communication cable with my friend. I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> this is strange. Like some of the dialogue boxes are like going away, especially for some name I can't pronounce. Strange. What's behind? It's a time machine. What? 
What? Don't take the giant bear. What is this lore? What is going on here? Okay, so there's just, like, casually a time machine. Okay. And a giant bear. That's probably a mistranslation, but... Now, is that meant for, like, transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Red and Blue or something? Or... Or, or red and blue in Japan, too. Yeah, you can do that. Red, blue, yellow, green. <sighs> okay. So strange. Okay, so... We go up here. This is like a gym, right? Yeah. Oh, these are like physically present. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Very cool, very cool. I wish I could read that sign, but... Okay, so... Let us... That looks just completely blocked off like it's supposed to be. But... There was something over here, I think. Yeah, like the whole path. And See, it's like... It's even programmed enough to like change a palette real quick. And change the music to more Gen 1 music, but... The farther we get out of bounds, the more freaked out I'm going to be if I see dialogue. What is this? More N64 is attached to TVs. What's going on? Windows? Is it going to complain about them being dirty? And a gate. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll pass through the gate like good boys so things load properly. You know what? Hold on. No, we won't. Check this out. We're just going to... See? That's why we should go through gates. <laughs> and then sprites started getting started to get replaced with your trainer sprite. Now this is this is here, here. This this is thumbnail bait right here. <laughs> oh, that's so going in the thumbnail. Oh I can oh wait, hold on. Let me have fun real quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. No, that that border stays. We want we need to mess with this palette like super bad. Okay, this because this has to this has to turn to like creepy boss territory, obviously. Okay, so that's gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, then we're gonna click red here. I'm colorblind, but yes. Okay, this this is okay. Wait, let's try to like reverse this a little bit. I need I need a little more like clarity. There we go. And then maybe like... There we go. Now that is prime creepypasta bait. Oh god, what were the default colors? <laughs> oh no, we cannot play the Space World demo like that. Oh no. Okay. Okay, well we at least have that palette. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're good. Uh... Okay, so, this is why we walk through gates. Things don't quite load properly if we don't. Good, I wanted to show that off anyways. Okay. Because now, because, like, even Pokemon on the field get replaced with, uh, with your trainer sprite. It's probably, this is probably going to start being, like, carbon copies of stuff. I'm assuming. No! Strange. Like, now she straight up just doesn't have any dialogue. That's so... That's so strange. Okay. Wait, was that... Okay, I, I thought I, I thought I saw the glitch in the Matrix again. More house N64, bird. Yeah, because at, at a certain point, these buildings are just going to start bleeding together. Now, what does this say? Oh, that's the radio tower, isn't it? Interesting. I know I've said that 20,000 times, but this genuinely is. This is super cool. Is this like a staircase? What is this? Okay, yeah. Like, see how much was like already done? I mean, I'm sure they changed a lot, but... Not that I've 
I'm not even, I don't have to guess. Clearly, there's so many Pokemon here that, like, aren't even used. And then this is, like, the top of it. Is that what's going on? Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Did I get the right color palettes going on? Is, there, or is this the, no, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go with this color palette. I don't even know if that's correct anymore. We just don't need creepypasta color palettes going on. Okay. And then another gate. Shop. That's a big shop. Does it have a different design? It does. Shop. Oh, is that, um, can't you do, like, was it in the Japanese version there was, like, gambling mini games or something? Or am I, or am I out of my mind in saying that? What is this? A functional elevator? Like, somewhat? That's insane. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, Speedy. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Where's the exit? Wait, where am I? Am I on the second story? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was trapped. Okay. No dialogue. No dialogue. Oh. That's just water. Water. Okay, so we kind of saw what was going on there. So we're going to have to go through the gate at that point. See, isn't it kind of... There's just nobody here. It's just a ghost town. Isn't this kind of crazy how much of this is intact? Wait, these tree sprites... Those don't look normal. Are they? I don't remember ever seeing something like that. There's still some grass and stuff here. Like, what, what is this route? What is this supposed to be? Those trees look so weird to me. Uh. Yo. Uh. <laughs> okay. Very yellow. Very yellow. Okay, okay. Wait, there's like a gym up here? So much of this is done already. This is so nuts to me. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I, I think... I think I got uh, bamboozled. Oh no. Okay, so. What have we learned? Not every building is safe to go into. Oh no. Okay, so. Time to pull out a new trick from my sleeve. So apparently, there is a, a, like, a debug menu on top of a debug menu to warp to places. And we're gonna need it. <laughs> So, okay, okay, so, okay, the second option is warp, yeah, just give me somewhere, okay, all right, I thought they were gonna tell me, like, oh, that's not gonna work, oh, okay, I just, I figured, what, what did that say, I should, I should have translated that, Somebody screen grab that and translate it for me, please. <laughs> uh, okay. So, now we gotta hike all the way back there, but, you know, when you can run through walls, it's not it's not that big of a deal. So, okay, building's not super safe. Alright. So, we came through here. No! Oh, almost did the bad. Yeah, let's just make sure we go through the gate, like, proper. Gonna go... And where did we go from here? Did we were we going left? Was that right? Yes, I'm gonna say. Yeah, we saw some of that. Well, then we okay. Yeah, we went through this gate, just like that. Okay. 
We saw that. That was like the radio tower. Then we went through this gate with nobody in it, right? Okay, yeah, all the weird trees. And what was that cursed building I went into? The, the League. Okay, we're not going in there. We are not going in there. Okay. Anything weird in these buildings? Okay. I know I said we weren't going to go into every building, but clearly we're in some sort of fabled no man's land. What is, this is cool. Oh, it's actually physically like present too. A lot of copies of me. Kind of spooky. Hey. Okay. This is different. This is str Oh, there's just like no like Pokemon nurse lady back there. I'm surprised, like, that this stuff isn't copy and paste. Yeah, it's just straight up, like... Ooh, ooh, doesn't like that. This is so strange to me. I really... I really would have guessed they would have just started copying and pasting this stuff. Wow. Okay. Wait, I don't want to leave this town yet. This town's sweet. Okay, gate, shop. Shop anything weird. The shop is normal. Well, normal-ish. I just, uh, maybe some of this is, like, more worked on than others, but, like, what order would they have been working on this stuff? Oh, okay, there is, there is nothing for us to see out there. Alright, so now we're at a crossway, crossroads. Do we go through the gate, or do we go right? Let's, I kind of want to go through the gate first, I think. Again, nobody's home, don't worry about it, we're good. Okay, this, that, that hits like it was loading a new area, if you see that like right there. Okay. Obviously some sort of like, I don't know if that's supposed to be just a wall or actually like a tunnel thing you have to go through. I don't know if it, some of the, oh, no, no collision. Collision, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, then we got another town. Whoa. Okay, it's kind of the same. We got like a taller waterfall thing. Whoa, and it even like like works differently. Was that supposed to be like sand or something? How peculiar. I, f I like. I feel like the more we go out, the weirder stuff's going to get. But that could just be me like applying like normal logic to development times where they could have been developing an area in the top right of the map first instead or something. I think I'm more basing my gut feeling off of like proximity from what you can get to in the demo. Okay, so Poke Center with an actual Oh! He's got Pokemon dude there. This is somewhat similar to some of the other houses. Uh, oh, oh, Team Rocket stuff. Is that right? Weird. And where does... Oh, that goes, like, nowhere. Okay, let's, let's be sure not to, like, skip any loading checks. Oh, boy. Okay, that's, that's just, like, a dead end. I kind of want to stay within the realms of what makes sense to check out first. And, okay, because this just goes like, this is all blocked off. I'm going to say, yeah, this is just water. Wait, there's a loading hitch there. What am I, what kind of trouble am I getting myself into? This is going on for a... And where did I end up? Okay, let's... Okay, I don't know where I'm at. Let's back it up. I feel like I've gotten way too far out for my own good. I think we should go back. Because I don't know how out of bounds this is yet. Or if that's like an in intentional, really big surfing area. 
I feel like this water is looking weird when I'm like fast forwarding like that or running like that. Like maybe avert your eyes if you have any sort of visual uh, issues. <laughs> okay, so new route. Or do, wait, did we did we come here this way? We did, we did, we did. What it was is that we went through the gate. Is that right? I think that's what happened, yes. We go down here. Then through the gate. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's just let's just back let's just back up a little bit. Things are getting things are getting a little out of hand there. Okay. So we got more of these trees. Watch, this is just gonna be a dead end and I came back for no reason. No, there, there's some semblance of a path going on here. No collision, though. This is... I This is kind of something I've noticed in some other betas and stuff. That... And I kind of like... I, like, if you look at some like the Ocarina of Time beta stuff, which is another incredibly fascinating one. How, like how big some beta areas are to the point of like absurdity as far as what a player would actually want to walk through. However, I love that kind of stuff. There's something about just like big open empty spaces that I like, I really enjoy, but like, yeah, realistically from like a gameplay standpoint, it doesn't make the most sense, but clearly they trimmed down some of the areas for the final product. Okay. So we at, we ended up at this gate. So now I think we're starting to work our way kind of around the side, like the right side of the starting area. I think. Oh, that was an entrance. Okay, so just get my butt over there. Poke Center. Where am I? Who am I? Where am I? Okay. There's some cool bridges and stuff. League. Gates. Another one? Where does this lead? Oh. Oh. Oh? With proper collision. Oh, check that out. Oh. Oh, they're kind of they're kind of functional. They're like preventing me from like Okay, well, they're not going to prevent me, but more land in a town. Wow. Oh. Whoa. It's like that's weird. It's like kind of running bad. Like frames are dropping. This house looks a little different. Okay. This looks this looks largely unfinished. Uh, I too keep people in rocks like that. Is that rocks? What am I looking at? The oh, ho ho, that was that was supremely unfinished. Oh, wow. There's like... There's just like no trigger for that yet. But they knew they wanted something there. What an interesting little town. So, this one I'm like... Really interested in with how far off the beaten path it is. So, tell me guys, like... Does this little island area have any like direct correlation with the final map? That I like. I especially want to know for this area. Now, this area seems weird to me. There's like, there's like nothing here. Well, maybe the tunnel is supposed to like take you somewhere else or something like that. I do. I do have fun. A lot of fun trying to like hypothesize this kind of stuff. How strange. So okay. So we hit our first like actual honest to god dead end through that. That is like so off the path though. I'm, like really want to know what that's supposed to be okay so we went through there 
But then we didn't go... Okay, there's like nothing to the... Nothing to the right. There's some... Oh. Hold on. Alright. Why does that look like that? Oh, this is like so out of bounds. Oh, it's having like that whirlpool effect. They really don't want me here. Or something got like screwed up. <laughs> you know. Okay. Collision seems kind of normal again. We got some grass. Like, see, they're even already putting down like wild battle grass and stuff out here. Another hitch. So it's like loading something. This is like, yeah, this is like a straight up like path. It looks pretty unfinished if I had a guess. Okay. A lot of things you could like, oh cool, the little hop's still working. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Poke Center. That's kind of, uh, so like a long path, probably like a lot of battling here and then put like, this is this is kind of cozy right here, you know, it's kind of like you're in the middle of a long path It's kind of fenced off and there's just like, you know, there's just like a pokey sun here. This is co this is cozy Cozy with proper collision. Oh, you weren't supposed to be you weren't supposed to be on this side of the fence. Okay That's a that's a cozy spot. I like that All right, let's keep going This is strange because that's like why would you block off just this with the trees that you cut down? What? Like, let's go. Ooh, does this work? No. No, we get no tunnel there. But another gate. Let's go. Okay, more water stuff. Okay. What is this? This is just somebody's house. <laughs> With proper collision there. Oh, man. Now this... This is where I want to chill at. Like, I want to exist, like, right here. Is that it? No shot. No way. So what's... This is so interesting. Oh, no! There's more! So you... Okay, okay you can kind of go here. And then probably, like, cut this down. Because there's collision there. This is wild. This is so cool. Okay. We're in a town. How quaint. Okay. Another house with... Ah, oh, nobody's home. This is my house now. Those are the new rules. Okay. We got, like, some de like decor on the ground. Pokey Center. It almost looks like there's supposed to be, like... Oh, there's another one of me. That's always really freaky to see. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it almost looks like there's supposed to be, like, snow or something on these roofs. But that could just be me overthinking things. That's kind of the beauty of some of this old sprite work like that. And there's a cave. Non-functional. Okay, so not every cave is functional. Oh, that booted me out like real early. Oh, there's stuff here too. Okay, so we walk. There's a guy here. Okay. Another one of me. Whoa, this is nuts. There's so much here. Another one of these Pokemon League things. Are these supposed to be... Wait, there's a building here too. Are, is a League like uh, like a Japanese name for like... No, because these look like, like schools or something. You know what? I want to check that out. But I think I've learned my lesson for the time being. <laughs> I think it might trap me. And I don't quite remember how I got here. <laughs> at least, At least not yet. Oh, they got like random. Oh, they kind of like push you back. Interesting. This is this is so wild to me. You know what? <sighs> I'm brave, right? Let's do it. What's up here? Oh, there's like there's like tombstones. Yo, what's going on here? And they have proper collision. Maybe that's why I got stuck in there. I probably didn't actually get stuck. It's just the tiles you would think to leave. Yeah, because there's like tiles to leave. And it's like on a second story though. That's in... What are these league things? Now that I'm thinking about it, the final game's not... 
like that, right? Like, gyms just aren't on, like, second stories of everything, right? I should have been poking around those leaks a little better. I didn't realize. Again, with, like, the super long pass. We're starting to wrap back around. I recognize this area when I was poking around through here the other night. Okay. Oh, let's be careful now. Is that, for all I know, that could crash the game. Okay, so, yeah, I saw some of this. Alright, but not through the Super Game Boy's, like, color palette stuff, so this is still interesting. Okay, so now we learned that leagues are kind of important. Wow, that's, like, super green. Oh, boy. Okay. Is this, like, a gym up here? It sh sure as shit is. Okay. Wow. Old guy. Old guy gym leader. Very cool. Okay. Wow. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Okay, and then there's like... I'm probably gonna start getting into slight... Oh, another like Team Rocket thing. With a second story, no less. A second story that... Oh, it had a wall around it, but it functions. Wow. Now that's some really blocked off stuff. See, there's like collision here. But you can still move yourself into it. I, I'm just asking for this to crash. I know I am. Okay, wow. Okay. We're gonna... Okay, we got okay, another gate thing there. Another one of me. Right, right. Oh, ooh. Hold on. Maybe I haven't quite seen... Wait, but I, I walked through the gate before. It does not want me to go through there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll, nope, nope, didn't mean to do that. Wait, what was that? That didn't look like a normal house. No, it's most certainly not, okay. Okay, we're gonna go in the shop, league, we saw that, some houses. Okay, we, we only got one choice. We can only go down from here. See, th this is definitely like a pretty rudimentary design for a route too, because it's just like safe space, grass, safe space, grass, safe space, grass. But that's, this stuff is super cool to me. I love seeing the inner workings of development like this. That's a gate. And here we are. Oh! Ooh. Okay. They're sure at... Oh, I'm, a I'm asking for trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm asking for it. Okay, there is nothing over there. Do we need Do we need the Creepypasta color palette again? I think we... Ooh. Ooh, this is... This is thumbnail bait. I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't need to change the colors. That's that, that's enough bait right there. Oh, that's good. No, no, no. Somebody's gonna want to see it like this. This is why the Super Game Boy is so fun. Oh, wait, we don't. What? I'm not getting red as a color palette. Yeah. What are we? Well, we'll just have to add a little bit of a. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, I've done it now. Oh, now we can't even see the cool numbers. What have I done? What? Give, give me some gray in here. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Just stop screwing around. <laughs> so that's definitely... That's some no-go stuff down there. They weren't, uh... They weren't finished with that yet. That's probably just straight up, like, pulling, like, garbage data at that point. But then we load it into something, and the garbage is still there. Okay. Interesting. Bigger building. Oh, okay. It's got the same design as the bottom of the leagues, but no second story. I did do that, didn't I? Wow. 
no functional sign. Getting some serious garbage. What's this building all about? Ooh, ooh. We're getting into some bad territory, I feel. What is this? Oh, nothing functional. Okay. Okay. And then this. What is this? Oh, uh, no, I think not. Oh, yeah, no, he's serious. There really is nothing there. Okay. Very cool. Oh, another one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, I've... What? What have I done? <laughs> Get me out of here. I made numerous mistakes. Another one of those doors with the collision blocking it, but still functional. Okay, I wish to leave. Oh no. Oh no. Please, let me out. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that building? Okay. Oh boy, another one. Dare I trust it? Functional second story, right? Cool. Elevator. And now, is this a staircase? That is a staircase. How high does this go? Okay, seriously, how, how how high does this go? This is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, we're finally hitting the end. Um, oh no. Oh. Please. Take me back. Oh no. No, no. Did we, did we done goof? Oh, we done goofed. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, good, good. I was I was worried for a second. It is so hard to tell which one of these is like ascending and descending. Am I am I going back up or am I going down? What am I doing? Oh no. Wait. What? Wait, that's the door? Okay, so then this looks like it's going down. And then here. So the warp tile was just like one off. Okay. Down again. Back to the first floor. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Alright. Oh, okay. More more garbage data. Alright. And down here, another gate. But also a town. With a lot of garbage data. A lot of garbage data. Okay. We're hitting like primo garbage data territory. Let's get back into town real quick. Okay, let's go see what's let's go see what's up with this gate. Oh, whoops. Let's get in here like proper. Nobody's home. Way shorter on the inside. Way shorter on the inside. Okay, here, here. Some of this, some wild grass. I think we're starting to loop back to Silent Hill. If that's the name of the town. Yes, we are. So, that's what's on the other side of this rock. See? Okay. So, we make it back into town. And what's the only place we haven't gone? Wait. Oh, then that took us to that town. I think. Okay, because I think we saw that. And then what's down? Anything? No. So, have we thoroughly explored this map? Let me make sure. So is this one of the towns we already saw? What is that? What is that? Is it not? Is this new? Oh. Hold on. What is this? 
Where am I? Another change? No, this was different. Okay. Either different or, like, not loaded in properly. How strange. And, like, these doors aren't functional, like, at all. They just push you... Oh, they still have a function of pushing you back. Oh, not even the shop. Oh. Okay, I think we've hit the limits of the, um the field debug menu however let me see let me see because there's different sections of this warping part canto there's one called canto okay because that's what i was curious about so we're gonna pull up warp okay this is silent old West, high tech, font, bird on, new type, sugar, blue forest, stand. Is that a JoJo reference? Canto. Let's see if I counted correctly. So where are we? Functional building. Is this actual Kanto stuff? I should know. I've recently been playing green. Uh, old guy. Or did I somehow get to... Where am I? <laughs> did I? Did I count correctly? Where are we? Because this doesn't look like Kanto to me. But what is it? Wait. This is Kanto? No! We've seen this. We've seen this. Okay. Okay. We're gonna pull out good old translations again. Okay. So... Oh! Am I, am I doing this right? No, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Clearly, I need some literacy help. So. Sugar, Blue Force, Stan. This is Kanto. So, is that just... Oh, they're just saying this is Kanto. Okay, so I wasn't incorrect. Okay. So this isn't nothing we haven't already seen, right? Right? Like, we've been here, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, while we're still in the the field menu. Let's look. We got the warp, which we've done. <sighs> okay, character. Okay, hold on. We got some stuff here. Yes. Super cool. Alright, we have, like, overworld sprites. Interesting. Okay. So, okay, all of it says currently in development, so I don't need to translate that. Wow, that pointer is, like, real off, so that's, like, bicycle, skateboard, rival guy, oak. Oh, still oak, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you got, like, red or whatever you want to call him. Uh, Ga Gary, blue, whatever. Uh... This is, where, this is where we start getting to, like, oh, what is this? Okay. Rival blue. Let me see if there's anything super interesting here. Okay. Okay, internal name. Skating. Okay, we have... Let me see. Imposter Oak. Okay, we do have... Wait, 15 might be cool. 
Okay. 15 is supposed to be Red's mother. Did I click on the right thing? I can't tell what 15 is. Like, is this... Like, if you're looking at this cursor, what is this? Is this 13? Is this 14? Like, where am I? But, okay, we want to look at 17. Yeah, this is so cool. So this is, like, um, Imposter Oak that was, like, a training card. Training card. Trading. Trading card. Jesus. <laughs> this is clearly getting to me. Okay. And, yeah, it was, like, part of the trading card stuff. Uh, but it wasn't, it didn't end up being used in the, like, in any of the actual games. However, clearly they got that idea from somewhere. And they were planning on having, like, this imposter oak guy. So there's, like, an overworld sprite of him, which is super interesting. Uh, okay, we got some, we got cool trainers in 36 and 34. Hold on, 30, 30 might be interesting. Let's, did I get that right? Nope. Oh, no, it's just repeating stuff. Okay, it lacks any sort of sprites. Maybe if I read a little more. Okay. What, what am I supposed to be looking at? I want to look at 36. Cool Trainer, that's what it says it is. Yeah, Cool Trainer. Has a different design. Okay, what is... Let us look at 42. Womana. Oh, Woman A. Oh, man. If only I could read. Is that woman A? Or is that woman A? What am I looking at? What's 43? What am I doing? Okay. Hmm. So they do point out with this one that it resembles the rival character, and it kind of does. Were they trying to, like, do something with that? Medium. Wait! I can make them move! Oh, that's so cool. Wait, let's go back to... Oh, wow. So, movement obviously can imply a lot. So, like, he has moving sprites, too. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. Medium. A quad... Hold on. Hold on. I found some good stuff. Technically, yes. Okay, let me make sure I don't crash the game here. We want to look at 77. Yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Snorlax. Aquatic Pokemon. Poliwhirl, specifically Poliwhirl for some reason. What is this? Oh, Lapras. Pokeball, Pokedex, Paper Sheet, Tr Swear to God, this is called Tree. Okay. Oh, 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 yep, that's a no. Egg, Boulder. Okay, 91's the last one of that. Okay. Oh, I missed some of that, too. Okay, so let's get out of here. Transportation, check this out. So we got walking, biking, and it is <laughs> oh, faster. And yeah, what I read, you can bike indoors still. Okay, not still, but like, as opposed to not being able to. Different music, too. Very cool. Okay. And then we have Whoa. Okay, so this ain't working too, too right. We've got some skateboarding. Ignores collision and map boundaries. Oh, no. Uh, guess what? Oh, it's like... Okay. Oh, no. We, we need to... We, we need to get off this wild ride. Oh, no. No. No, there's no music. Oh, no. Surfing. Let's do it. Okay, no. No, we won't. Okay. Okay, give me, give me off of that. Okay. <laughs> Tool gear. Clock coordinates. Just. Oh, hey. Check this out. Okay, so if we do this. Okay. Every 60 seconds we'll do 
like a daytime transition thing. What it says. Interesting. PC access a PC from anywhere. Okay, deposit. Interesting. The player starts off with three random P Pokemon in their PC. What? No way. Whoa. We got a Meowth? Uh, uh, Poly Whirl? We're gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Psyduck, interesting. That is, and it says it's random too, okay. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's make that stop. Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, page two page two opens a shop menu. Uh, they sell moonstones for zero yen. Whoa. No no sh Wow. So these are Moonstones, Antidotes, Burn Heals, Max Potions, Hyper Potions, and Potion Potions. Okay. Instantly heals your Pokemon. What was the Poke... Oh, we might not want to do that. Slots, Poker, and Matching. Okay, Mapper. It allows you to view objects. Okay, opens up. Okay. When using the map, which teleports you there. Oh. Okay. All oh, this is. Wow. Okay. Check this out. Okay. I'm gonna back out of this. Okay, don't check that out. Okay, let me make sure I'm reading properly. What is this? Okay, that's the shop. Okay, okay, that's just closing it. Wait, if I could read... Oh boy. What have I done? Oh, yes, very cool. Please, no! Okay, well, we, we have coordinates now. Okay, okay. Let me, let me get my bearings again. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a shop. Recover, experimental, game, mapper. Is mapper what I just clicked on? Oh, there's a third page. That's what I need to be looking at. So I wanted map right here. Check this out. We got ourselves a map. Wow. Okay. No, we don't. <laughs> no, I read only one of these areas actually functions like this. And by golly, I'm going to find it. Wow, these points are all sorts of messed up. Please take me anywhere. No. Uh, yeah, we may be... We may be going... Oh! <laughs> we may be going nowhere. Oh, there's a little... I, I wonder if that's like that little island thing I saw. Okay, we're going nowhere. Interesting. Oh, yeah, if I were to read more, we're going nowhere. All right. Okay. Super cool. Check this out now. All right. So, that's very, very detailed for the field menu. But, I'm not interested in just the field menu. 
what we want to look at now, this is probably going to be the last part of this video, because it's also going to take a while, we are going to look at monsters. <laughs> Sorry. As interesting as the sound test sounds, from what I read, it's just all reused music, so we're not going to hear any, like, beta music in here. So what we are going to look at are the pocketable monsters now. So, I was skimming through, skimming through the list of Pokemon. You know what? Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. There is... So it's still got data for all of, like, you know, the normal 151 Pokemon from Red and Blue, which it's like some, some of it, some of them are different, like, like Pikachu here or something. Um, and I believe, yes, uh, left is demo, final would be the final Japanese version. So I think in the interest of time and interest, going over all the Generation 1 Pokemon again. I don't think that's super worth our time. Uh, Venonat. Maybe that was the name of the guy. Okay. Um, because as you, as you can kind of, like, scroll through, you see that, like, so much of this is already, like, very identical. That's a cool game, guys, right? So, just so you know, I'm not keeping anything from you that's too interesting. Even, even Mew here is, like, you know. So, what we're gonna do, however, is skip right to 152 and start. <laughs> okay. Skip right to 152 and start looking for anything super interesting. So. And just to make sure I'm right on the money, is that Mew? Sure is. Okay. So we got, obviously, Chikorita. Oh, cool. I can just press right on the D pad. Okay, we got Monstrosity. We got, you know, uh, Meg Mega Neum. Is that is that a Japanese name or what is that? So here we go. I'm sure you've seen this little guy floating around the internet before. Okay, so this little dude is uh Fire Bear. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Fire Bear. Obviously replaced with Cyndaquil. Then we got Volcano Bear, I think, is what I'm looking at here. Bora B. Uh, okay. And so, obviously, Mid-Evolution. And then we have... D Dyna Bear. Dynamite Bear. Excellent. So, that's like the Typhlosion thing. Okay, and then we took a Gander at him before. He's Cruz. He's Aqua, beautiful sprite work, and he's Aquarius, right? Okay, so. So, slightly different design, nothing too crazy. That is different. Okay. Okay, yeah, if, you know, let's pull this back again. As you can see, that is noticeably different. Okay, that's the sheep thing. Also sheep thing. Uh... I mean, it's in the final game. I hope that the back sprite was remade entirely. Interesting. Yeah, it was. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, then we have... Interesting. So this is, are you sick of hearing me say that yet? This is a water type? Wait, what? This is a water type. Okay, so this is like a pre-evolution for Vulpix. Smaller, cuter, blah, blah, blah. Evolves into Vulpix at level 13. Typing is very likely a mistake caused by the fire and water typings only have one bite difference in the code. Okay, so that's straight from the cutting room floor, obviously. And it is a Mekon. That thing is adorable. Check that out. I, I love him. Okay. And then... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Scrapped Tangela pre-evolution. Essentially a tiny Tangela with messy hair, blah, blah, blah. Evolves into Tangela 13. And it uses a different color palette 
compared to Tangela. That's what this says, from green to blue. And once again, just to make it clear, my descriptions of these are straight from the cutting room floor. I'm not putting my own spin on this unless I'm saying otherwise. Like, clearly, the cutting room floor isn't saying, check out this boy. But what it is saying is the Scrap Tangela evolution. That's cool. Okay, so it evolves from Tangela at level 44. Tangela would only receive an evolution in Generation 4. Is that right? Okay. Okay, that's cool. I So, it's called Geronra, and it says it's a corruption of Tangela's name. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, I didn't tell you this thing's name, did I? It's like Manja. So, it's... it's it's kind of shortened from unkept hair. Yeah, that's that thing is stylish. I mean, look at this. This is great. So they're grass types. Uh, what do we got here? We have Oh, Nelly. Okay. That is a, a, a mantine. So this thing had a drastic redesign. We're gonna we're just gonna pull up the page again. Goodness gracious. So I clearly you want... Hold on. We're gonna... Give me a second. <laughs> just want to zoom this in for you guys just a little bit more. Oh, what? Oh, I'm spoiling myself. Oh, God. Let me pull it back. All right. <laughs> I've seen some of this before. So, obviously, that design got changed, like, a lot. And it looks like its name was different. Ha ha Hane? Oh, I can't read the descriptions like this. Ooh, there we go. You know what? You guys are gonna... You guys are gonna put up with it so I can read. Okay, that's perfect. Just like... Just like that. What number was I at? Who, who is this guy? Who are you people? You are... Okay, let's get on to the next one. We have... Is that a puffer fish? Alright, evolves into... I don't even know what... Oh, okay, it evolves into the next Pokemon. So, it's... Uh, Puku... Puku... Puku Puku, meaning puffed up, so it's like half of that. It's a water type. And it's in the final game. What am I saying? Okay, it's right there. It says it right there. However, it's evolution. It's evolution is not in the final game. And it, it's, sh <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but apparently it's taken from numbness and puffer fish kind of smashed together. So, it's, oh, so apparently I haven't gotten far enough in Legends Arceus, but that there's a somewhat different variant of this guy in Legends Arceus. So something like that. Ooh, ooh, check this out. Check this out. We're getting to Pichu, early Pichu. Check this guy out. So, if you need a reminder, so there's our final Pichu right there. Oh, spoiling stuff. That's okay. There's our final Pichu right there. Oh, that's adorable. Look at him go. I love him. So, this is a. Cleffa, an early design, and I think you just saw what the final design looks like, but just in case, this is an all-encompassing video, you're here for the long run, so there's the final design, there's early design, that's, that's a, that's a good, uh, good design change, that thing looks a little goofy, <laughs> okay, and then that is an iggly buff, I didn't even know that was a Pokemon, Oh, it's just a circle, though. So, they changed that as as well. <laughs> so, they gave that guy a little, a little bit of something on top. Alright. So, uh, we got this guy. Looks like he's pretty identical for the most part. This guy. That guy. Okay. This is a scrapped Goldeen pre-evolution, which was originally created for Generation 1. Okay. Interesting. And then level 16 he would evolve. And it is a Gyopin 
from Goldfish and Lively by smashing those two Japanese words together. Then we have Meryl. Meryl. Am I getting the right color? Yep, that's what we're getting. Okay, we got... Whoa! Huh. So, this guy's a Manbu from Manbo, Ocean Sunfish. And it says here that he was scrapped because... Oh, what does it say? Oh, its name is just a placeholder. Okay, that's what it says. It was revealed in an interview that devs tend to use basis Evo stage for Pokemon whose name hasn't been finalized yet. Evolves into the next Pokemon at level 19. And apparently a Sunfish would later go on to appear in Generation 5. Which one is Gen 5? Is Gen 5... Um, is that... So, uh, black and white, or is that black and white six? What is Generation 5? Um, but he evolves into this dude, this like shark guy, and his name is just Ikari. Okay, so, uh, from Ikari and Ikari, so it's definitely a joke loss in translation that we can't get, but from Anchor and Rage, but the spelling, oh, the spelling is different in Japanese. Okay. So he was also supposed to be in Gen 1. Okay, and then the, then he evolves into the next Pokemon level 38. Okay. Ooh, so he... <laughs> he's called Gurotesu, or like Grotesque. That's mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's going to be split one. So... Maybe one. Okay. I, I don't know what I'm looking at with this guy. I kind of like him, though. So then we have Crobat. Here we go. Another scrap pre-evolution. So, is this music getting grading yet? Okay, so he's a pre-evolution of Paris. The little, uh, the little, the little guy. Okay, um, and evolves into Paris starting at level 12. So, it, there are so many scrap Pokemon in this. This is crazy. So what we got here. We have a... I didn't even tell you his name. It, Para. Guess where that comes from. Parasite. Okay. So, this guy... his Oh, his sprite was changed quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, let's check this out. This is worth looking at. So, it's a Spinarak. And as you can see, they really, really changed kind of like the orientation that you're looking at him from. Okay, and we have, oh, same kind of dealio, where, like, totally, totally different orientation. Again, all-encompassing video, we're in it for the long haul, so you can kind of see, like, I don't know, I, I kind of get what they're trying to do, it's like almost like a top-down view, but. Okay, then we got Skarmory, we have, oh lord, I've seen this guy. So, it's a Scrap Ditto Evolution, not like a pre-evolution or anything. And, alright, normal type. That So, he is Animon from Animal and Animorph. Uh, oh, from Animal slash Animorph and Ditto. So, that's kind of where his name's coming from. So, evolving a Ditto. This Pokemon may have... Okay. It says that it may have influenced me the metal powder item found in the file games. Okay. Wow, he's crazy. I love him. He's awesome. So we have another unused one, Hinazu from Chick. Oh, that's it, just from like, you know, birds. So it's a scrapped Doduo pre-evolution. I get it. Okay. And then, this is a Pokemon? Wait, this one's legit. Oh, this is. Sunflora. I don't know if I've somehow ever seen that. Maybe I have. Wow. Then we have little elephant guy. We have elephant guy. Okay. This is another one. Okay. Essentially. Okay. Yeah. This is a Wobbuffet. However, under a different name, I believe. This is like 
Shunazu twins, I think is what it's trying to tell me. So, oh my goodness. That, that is a drastic change. It's almost like his tail. But like, that's just all he is. Wow. Wow, he's, he's nuts. My goodness. My goodness. And then it was supposed to... Then it was supposed to evolve into him. Okay. Oh, and he was a dark normal. And then evolved into him. Interesting. Huh. And that's why Wobbuffet had the ghost icon. Okay. Okay, then we got this little dude. We have... Oh, yeah. So, another one of these that says it was originally supposed to be in Gen 1. And it is a... This is a Meowth pre-evolution? Yes. Okay. Wow. And he is a... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna say that just in case. <laughs> but Nya is part of the name. So, then we have... What? What are you? Rin Rin. From ring and bell ringing. Interesting. Okay. Scrap sleigh bell themed cat. Falls into... Okay, it falls into the next guy. Okay. It falls into this dude. Baru Run from Bell and Cheerful Humming. Oh, both of them are dark types so far. Wow. This is so... Like, there's whole lines of Pokemon that we scrap. Okay, so he got changed quite a bit. Okay. So, he is a Holly Toad. Toad. Oh, you got me. Okay. That is a drastically different design. Okay, that is a Slow King. Ah, uh, that was supposed to be an unknown. Ah, uh, uh oh. Ah, uh, okay, that was supposed to be an unknown. Um. Ah, uh, okay, we're moving on. Okay, that's same. Ooh, that's that's different. That's different enough. So, you know, while I'm here, Unknown was supposed to show up like that. I'm not going back just in case. So this little dude, they, they, you know, they gave him a little more of a like an open design here. My goodness, that scared me. I was like, that's taking a really long time to load. Oh, no. Okay, then we have... Okay, a scrapped pre-evolution for Pontia? Pon pon Ponyta? Ponyta. My god. And again, it's one of those that says originally created for Generation 1 and evolves into Ponyta starting at level 20. And he's... Poop, uh, again, just in case not saying that name. Uh, but from Petite and Unicorn is what his name is deriving from. And... So that is a really weird looking Espeon. Kind of like smushed a little. Then we have Umbreon. Okay, we have Scrap Guy. Okay, so they think he might be related to Slowpoke because he looks like his shell. Huh, okay. So he is like Turban. <laughs> and it says something about official artwork depicting. Hold on, let's look at this. Oh, yeah! If we take a look at this. Check this out. Yeah, it kind of has that, kind of has that going on there. Interesting. Ooh, scrapped Grimer pre-evolution, and he is Beto Baby <laughs> from Grimer and Baby, and he evolves into Grimer at 19. Still poison type. Okay, so that guy's in the final game, but with a different design. That is... That is pretty different. And we have... Whoa. Okay, so this guy... 
it was a little more literal because his Japanese name says like Ak Akutake. So much more tank like. Much, much more tank like. Then we have a. Whoa, what is this? What is this? So this is something related to Hitmonlee? But like not Hitmonlee itself. Huh. I don't recognize that Pokemon to begin with. And I especially wouldn't recognize that. Okay, then you got Hitmon Top. Uh Pootie from Petite and Poodle. And it is a scrapped Growlithe pre-evolution, who is a fire type, and evolves to Growlithe at level 13. Hop Pip. That's a somewhat different design. As you see, they kind of like got rid of that tail and stuff. Well, no, he still has a bit of a tail there. Ooh, another one they changed a lot. So this is a Skip Boom. These names don't even sound real to me. But they have much longer tail and different type of color palette going on there. This is a Jump Pluff? Okay, these cannot be real Pokemon. <laughs> are these real Pokemon? I mean, it says they are. <laughs> okay, this is a scrapped Mr. Mime pre-evolution. From and he's a Barrierina from Barrier and Ballerina, and a pre-evolution which reuses the name originally signed it. Okay, okay. Wow, and he evolves to level level my Mister Mine at level fifteen. Okay. Okay, and this is like Jinx's pre thing. I think. Oh, a Lek kid. Definitely change that design. I don't want to linger on the last design for too long. <laughs> like kid. Okay. Oh, well, we're getting a little spoilery there. So while we're here, this guy obviously got his stuff changed just a little bit. Mostly the top. This is a uh, Blossom. Whoa. Oh, I love him. So it's a scrapped Weeping Bell branched evolution meant to parallel to Blossom, and he is Subomido from Bud and Mitt. Oh, I love this guy. Check him out. Mill Tank. Okay. Oh, I'm not saying his name. Oh, no. We're not saying that. But, whoa, that's strange. He's a water fire type. Okay, and apparently in Generation 6, there's finally a water fire type. Wow. That's cool. Not saying his name. No, thank you. This guy straight up looks like... Like, like he's like almost Santa Claus-like going on. And he still kind of looks like that in the final, but let me pull it up for you. It's still somewhat different here. Whoa, yeah. Okay, Scrap Tiger Pokemon, which was originally created for Generation 1. He's an electric type, and his name is Katara. Kotara. I'm so American, I'm sorry. And it's coming from uh, Child and Tiger. And he evol Oh, wait, he evolves into the next guy at level 35. That's kind of, that's kind of a high number. So he evolves into this guy... Rytora, Thunder Tiger, and it also, like, originally created for Gen 1. Oh. And we, here we got a scrapped, far-fetched evolution. Madamu, or Madame, okay. Evolves from far-fetched starting at level 24. Interesting. Oh, this guy's my jam! What we got going on here? He's Norowara from To Be Cursed and... Oh, sorry. The, the Noro parts from To Be Cursed and Wara Ningo from Straw Doll. So, like, Cursed Straw Doll. A scrap Pokemon based on both a Voodoo Doll and a Bear. I don't see the Bear part, but okay. Oh, this is cool. It, it evolves 
Whoa, this is strange. It evolves into the next... How did... No, this doesn't make sense. It says... Oh, it's a ghost type, by the way. I don't know if I need to actually tell you that. But it says it evolves into the next Pokemon at level 1. So check this guy out. He's almost like that one... Um, Darkstalker's character. So... Yeah, he's kind of... Yeah, yeah. It's definitely got that kind of like... Like, Chinese vampire type of thing going on. Just like, um... What's her name from Darkstalker's? Okay, and I apparently they're saying he still kind of looks like a bear. I'm not seeing the bear, but so he's Kionpon from Kionshi and Panda. Don't know what that first, don't know what that first one is. We have a Murkrow with a hat. Okay, so they gave they gave this little dude they they gave him they gave him a hat in the beta. Okay, they took it off. Guess he doesn't get one. Oh, this is a Blissey with a much different design. Oh my god. That looks like like some sort of abnormal growth. That's probably that's probably a uh, better design. <laughs> the final one. And we have No oh, Scizor. Who was bug flying. So they changed it to bug steel. Okay. Oh, check this guy out. He's a scrap pincer evolution. It's bug type. And it's Prakusu, uh, or Plux, <laughs> evolves from Pinsir at level 42. And I could definitely see this. It says it may have inspired Heracross, like for sure. It says right here, there's an early Heracross sprite that looks similar to Pinsir's. Let me see. Oh boy. It says that. Uh, however, I'm having trouble finding it. <laughs> Okay, so this is a Houndor with with a different, a somewhat different design. They gave him more of like, almost like it looks a little more spine-like in the back. Okay, Houndoom. Oh, check this out. He's Urufuman or Wolfman, scrap Pokemon based on a mimic wearing a wolf pelt, making it look like a wolf itself. Very cool. With eyes poking out of its mouth and hands emerging from the fur, evolves into the next guy at level 35. So this is War <laughs> Warufu or War Warwolf, and he's oh they're both Ice type. I forgot to mention that Ice type. Is that is that a thing already in Gen 2? Ice type. Well, he's an Ice type. And they're thinking that maybe this inspired mimic you later. I, I could I could see that. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. This is a Porygon. Porygon two. Whoa. Whoa, that's the uh, whoa, whoa boy. I know. Oh wow, wow. They changed that. Oh my god. Okay. Scrap Lickitung evolution. Okay. And he would evolve from Lickitung at level 32. He would he is Namuru from Namuru <laughs> to Lick. Okay. He's normal type. Steelix, pretty normal looking. A Kingdra. They changed they gave him like little arms in the beta. That's what's going on here. That's what's up. Gee, like they took away his little arms. What's going on with that? And we got whoa, whoa! This is uh, Raiku Raiko, however you pronounce this dude's name. Wow, whoa! That is very different. Let me see. okay. We're gonna, okay. We're gonna just go down down the line real quick with these legendary like dog types because they all look very different. So we're just gonna go back through them. So we have him. There's Entei's design. Again, way different. And then this one. I've seen this. I love this. This is uh, Su Queen. Su. Su. Suik. Su Suik. Su Kun. How, how do you pronounce this Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. I'm not here for pronunciations. I'm here to give you cool info. Wow. This is. <laughs> oh my god. This one has some. <laughs> 
some incredibly pent up angst, I think. I love this one. This is me in high school. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, this is my, look at, oh my God. I love this. Okay. <laughs> so obviously they were changing these dudes a lot. Wow. Oh man, this is like, this has got to be like my new YouTube profile picture right here. This is, this is my jam. I need, I, oh, it's so small. I'm going to have to up res that later. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, then we have, what, what are you? Sneasel. Oh, okay. I kind of like this design better. Okay, check this out. They really changed them. I, I kind of like this. It is a little more basic and a little more like normal animal-ish looking. This is ho -Oh. They kind of like change where it, like the beak and stuff is, his face. We got Togepi. Snubble. Oh, this is a uh, Apom. Okay. They changed, they changed that quite a bit too. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And then here is the last in line. This is Reefy from Leafy. And, okay, so it says Dex placement indicates a late edition. Clearly, it's the last one. Scrapped grass type of evolution. It's a scrapped evolution. And it was reworked into Leafy on in Generation 4. Okay. So that's a scrapped evolution. And then, yep, there's nothing past that. Okay. All right, here's the last leg of our journey. So in the same viewer for all the Pokemon, they have, okay, they have trainers. Now let me look, oh boy, oh boy. So they got trainer sprites. So I don't know how many of these are particularly interesting. Okay, what's going on there? Okay. Okay, hold on. So we got, okay. That looks different too. And I see some of these, like, I don't know what's going to be different between the final American game, or there, there's the rival, or like the Japanese version to the American version where they might have changed some stuff. There's Oak. That's, wait, he's in the trainer data? Wait, but then so is main character guy. So is main character guy. Okay. Fortunately, I don't have... Okay, that's doubling up again. Doubling up. Doubling up. Doubling up. They have different names, though. Doubling up. Doubling up. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern here. We'll just go... Th okay, there's a different one. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have as much to add to these because I... You know, they're not nearly as interesting as wholly unused Pokemon, and my knowledge isn't good enough on the trainers to begin with. However, as a viewer, we can quickly go through these. Just say, he has a full-on whip. Oh, Lord. Okay, same, okay, doubling up again. Same with, same with her, okay. Oh, oh, I, I see, I see, I see why that would have gotten changed. Oh, I like him. Oh, okay. Okay, Team Rocket. Okay. Doubling up again. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, what are we looking at? We're gonna... We're gonna move on. Okay. Okay. Doubling up. A little Fisher dude. Swimmer guy. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. Pokemon is a game for kids. Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh, no. He looks like upset. Okay. <laughs> oh, same. Okay. Oh, he might have been like, um, like power plant area, kind of, maybe? Oh, uh, Gen 1 rival guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this any part of like the Elite Four or something? Okay, doubling up on that. Doubling up on that. Now, this guy's definitely unused. For sure. Okay. 
say is he unused? Oh, okay. I feel like there's something similar to that in the final game. Whoa, there's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. Okay. Kimono lady, I think I read something like that. Oh, multiples. Twins. 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 Wins. Is that the end? That's the end of the list. Okay, this has been a super long journey, but we have seen a lot of cool stuff today. This is, to me, one of those, like, holy grails of, like, a beta. This is, I, I've been really wanting to take a deeper look at this for a while, and this has been incredibly interesting, incredibly cool. Even if I don't know everything in the final game super well, as a piece of history... This is incredibly cool. So I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope you got as much as I've gotten out of this. And my cat is staring up at the ceiling and it's freaking me out. And it's she's looking all over the place. Am I going to get like attacked by something? I really wish she won it. What is she doing? Okay. With that, I hope you, I hope you got a lot out of this. I had a lot of fun going through this, trying to get all my information in a good order. I hope I presented this in a good way. Uh, with that being said, let me know every single thing I got wrong or didn't understand the importance of in the comments, please. And with that, I will see you guys later.